So we've been hearing about the uh, state of the markets, of course, earlier in the bulletin. And, uh, it's been not looking very good in recent days. And to talk about this more and find out why that is, we're joined now by Leif Eskerson, who is HSBC's chief economist uh, for India and Southeast Asia, based in Singapore. Thank you very much for joining us uh, this morning, Mr. Eskerson. Uh, My pleasure. Firstly, so we've been saying markets have been falling since uh, warnings from the Federal Reserve uh, on Wednesday. Uh, but it's not all down to that, is it? There's, what other data have we been seeing that's uh, been contributing to these falls on the markets across the world? Yeah, I mean, that's right. I mean, uh, clearly, the, you know, in a sense, I mean, the, the Fed announcement might have been a, a little bit disappointing to markets that to some degree might have hoped for something more. But also the Fed statement had, uh, of course, the references to severe downside risk to growth, which was also a new language, a new tone in the statement that, uh, in a sense, had an impact. But, but the other factors, I mean, there were downgrades of the U.S. banks. I mean, we yesterday had uh, data out from the European Union that showed that uh, uh, the sentiment in, in basically the manufacturing and services sector, uh, based on the PMI reading, showed that uh, it had been slipping basically here in September, not just in the periphery countries, but also in the core countries as well. So that has added to it. And also we had a PMI reading out from uh, China just yesterday as well that also showed that in the manufacturing sector that uh, growth is actually uh, starting to, to, to uh, turn, to turn down, downwards basically. Now, it was, of course, Mr. Eskerson, the Fed's announcement uh, that kicked off this latest tumble. Does that imply that the markets think that the $400 billion bond buying scheme uh, was not the right move? No, that's not how I see it. I think, uh, you know, it, you know, sentiments right now are, the, are really uh, quite fragile. And I think, as I said, one of the things that was highlighted in the Fed statement was the downside risk to growth. But I think also what markets are really looking for is, is action in, in other areas on the political stage. I mean, in the U.S., as, as we all know, uh, what, what's really the challenge right now is to come up with a fiscal solution that both ensures fiscal sustainability in the medium term, but also in the short term. Uh, it's not too draconian, doesn't pull back too much. So we really need to see some action in the U.S. as well. Republicans and the, uh, Democrats have to set the differences aside. And then, of course, in Europe, there was uh, an agreement back in July that uh, they would come up with a more comprehensive solution, but so far there has been no implementation. And, and that is really those two areas where we need to see some action uh, relatively soon before uh, we can start to see some improvement in market sentiment. Uh, Mr. Eskerson, thanks very much indeed uh, for having uh, joined us uh, this morning.